How did Ida B. Wells and the Alfred Suffrage Club respond to racism in the Illinois suffrage movement? According to Ida B. Wells Barnett's autobiography, Crusade for Justice, she writes on how she was seeing that white women of the Illinois Suffrage Association were restricting colored women in their groups and clubs. Wells Barnett began to realize that white women were working for restricted suffrage, that being a white woman would have full suffrage and African American women would have limited suffrage. How do African American suffragists differ from white suffragists? The suffragists of the Alpha Suffrage Club are important because they focused on other, object other objectives than just enfranchisement for women like the white suffragists. They focused on getting more anti-lynching laws. An example would be when Ida B. Wells Barnett wrote on the hanging of African American businessmen. In 1892, there were three black businessmen in Memphis, Tennessee that were hung. Wells Barnett wrote that the presumed reason the safety of Southern white womanhood was only a cover-up for the three businessmen's grocery stores were competing well with their white stores. They worked towards getting black, they also worked towards getting black men into office. An example of this would be when the Alfred Suffrage Club campaigned for an African American to get into Congress. How did the African American women's involvement in the suffrage movement change our understandings of it? The African American women's involvement in the suffrage movement changed our understanding of it by showing that they would not allow white women to be the only ones to have full voting rights in Illinois. It changes our understanding of the movement because it shows that African American women will not stand to be pushed aside in any respect. An example would be the parade in 1915 when Ida B. Wells Barnett does not go back to go to the back of the parade like Grace Wilbur Trout wants her to, but she steps out and marches with the Illinois delegates when the parade has already begun.